This video will demonstrate a new YAS module in SUSE Linux Enterprise Server for SAP Applications 15. An experienced individual will take 60 to 90 minutes to perform these tasks manually for a production SAP HANA deployment. Using the YAS module takes less than 10 minutes. Please note that certain portions of the video have been sped up. You should pause at any point to observe what is being done in more detail. Here is the initial landscape configuration. Thank you to Dell EMC for providing the PowerEdge servers for this demonstration. Two Dell PowerEdge R940 systems, SL HANA 1 and SL HANA 2, are being used. Each system has SUSE Linux Enterprise Server for SAP Applications 15 installed, registered, and fully patched. SAP HANA 2.0 SPS03 has been installed on both systems with the same system identifier, also known as the SID, and instance number. SAP HANA system replication is not enabled on either system. Back on SL HANA 1, a new YAS module, HA Setup for SAP Products, is being selected. This YAS module is automatically installed with the SAP HANA pattern. The YAS module supports enabling HANA system replication as well as configuring SUSE Linux Enterprise High Availability. A performance optimized HA configuration is selected for this demonstration. The prerequisites have already been met for this demonstration. It is recommended for production to use two Corosync rings with Unicast for the HA heartbeat. Each ring is being assigned to a different IP network. What you do not see is that each IP address is assigned to separate bonded NICs in an active passive failover mode for heartbeat redundancy. CSync2 synchronizes common configuration files between the nodes, and Corosync secure authentication guarantees that only the HANA nodes are able to exchange the heartbeat packets. The cluster node information for each node is entered, which includes the hostname and IP address for each ring. The NTP configuration has been retrieved. It is recommended to use several fencing agents. Two SBD agents are being configured using shared storage. The SBD agent is included in the SUSE Linux Enterprise High Availability Extension. The shared storage is located on a SAN. The Linux kernel watchdog will automatically reboot a hung system. The soft dog configuration has been retrieved. The SID instance number, replication mode, operation mode, and site information are required for SAP HANA system replication. The virtual IP address, preferred site takeover, and automatic registration are required by the SAP HANA SR resource agent. An initial HANA backup was done manually before running the YAS module. All of the necessary information has been entered. A final review of the configuration options is being done before selecting install. The YAS module is configuring SAP HANA system replication and enabling the HA components that will monitor the cluster to initiate a SAP HANA system replication takeover in case of a failure of the primary system. This is where the video playback is being sped up. It is time to review the output after the YAS module has completed. The last line in the log shows the overall status, which is green with no errors. SAP HANA system replication has been configured because SL HANA 1 is listed as the Site A source system with the replication mode being sync and the operation mode being log replay. Switching to SL HANA 2, we see that it is listed as the Site B secondary consumer system. Back on SL HANA 1, the CRM underscore mon command shows the state of the HA cluster. SL HANA 1 and SL HANA 2 are online nodes. SL HANA 1 is listed as the master, which is the HANA primary. The floating IP address, RSC underscore IP, is on the primary HANA system. 
You have just seen a new feature in SUSE Linux Enterprise Server for SAP Applications 15, which automates a common task with SAP HANA, saving considerable amount of time. Thank you.